Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Star Ocean 2. Last time, we entered Fiennal and took on three of the remaining ten wise men. There are only four remaining. Let's go find one. Or two. We'll see how things go. Ah, so there are two of you. We have guests. Well, I don't think you guys are going to have a good time of trying to stop me at this point. Somehow the ones below have all been killed. How deplorable. Prepare to die. Must be joking. No, it's going to be pretty easy, in fact. Personally, beat you all to a pulp. All right, let's end these guys. I will burn you. I will burn you. Oh, 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 oh. Wow, that seems rather interesting. How much damage does that do? You Decent amount. Mind blast. All right, Opera is taking way too long on healing, so let's uh, take control of her for the moment. Throw a Resurrection Mist over there. And have her do a little bit of healing before picking up the pace a little bit. Oh, we've got... Uh, somebody got themselves stoned. The only one who can actually be stoned. Uh, where is my spring water? Mind All right, uh, hurry up. Hurry up with the item. Now what I'm gonna do is Care Tablet prevents him from being inflicted with stone, so I'm gonna throw that on him. And then I won't have to worry about things anymore. Get a couple attacks in, get a healing in. They're actually starting to make the battle somewhat challenging. Look at that! I can't believe it. Looks like we won. We did indeed. We got a fairy tier for that. Leave it up to me. And more levels. But look at that. We we spent like two minutes in a boss fight. That's new. Um, I think we just did. Unless you guys are teleporting away to safety. Who knows? Only two more to go. Alrighty then, now let's get rid of some of these status effects. Uh, where's my Aqua Berry? There's Cure Poison, that'll work. And since I'm here, use a Blackberry on you. And not you, let's take that off of you and put on 10,000 volts instead. Still gonna be uh, working on building that up. I'll let you build that up for later. I can always uh, spam explosion pills on my own time and build that up if I need to. Alphon 1's probably pretty close to max out now, so I can probably start working on uh, Healing Star. Uh, Mirror Slice he's working on, Ripper Blast is probably already maxed out, so that's pretty good. Pretty much, yeah, that, that seems pretty good. As far as my stats go, now's a good time. Let's fill out functionality. And we'll just fill out uh, functionality there and poker face too, why not? Do that with everybody. There we are. Now we can move on. Just give me some more stats. Can't complain with that. Now comes probably the most annoying room in the entire game. Probably, anyway. This one. All right, so we're gonna go right, and we wanna go up, and we want to, I think, put this in the middle. Now, basically, each of these switches, depending on where you put the, where you hit the switch, will open certain doors. Um, I'm not sure if it's specifically set, you know, you do this, and it opens this door, or if it's like in e each room, say you, you close the, hit the right switch like I just did there, 
and then you'll always get the middle door to go up. I'm not sure if that's how it works, but I just have a, a simple walkthrough that's telling me how to uh, do all of this kind of stuff. So we want to hit that back to the middle one. And then we want to head back here. We want to hit the left one. And then do I go up or down? We go south, west, west again. And we want to hit this guy here. There's only one in this room. And then I guess we're backtracking. Okay, I'm just reading over the next few steps in my notes so that I'm not fumbling with things. And so we want to do the middle one here. Okay, I got myself turned around. Don't go to the right, go to the left here. And we should get another one of those single ones here. We'll press that. And then we want to return, but I'm curious what's down here. Okay, that's the orange one. There we go. So we'll return back this way. And now we want to hit the left switch there so that we can go north. And over to this way. And one moment. Okay. Just had to read over my notes. It's very confusing when you're going from rooms that, according to this map, are labeled as D2 and D3 and D4. It's very uh, rather complicated trying to figure things out. So we'll activate that one. We'll head back to here. We'll hit the left button. And we can head back out to the previous room we were in. This one here. Now we want to hit the middle button. And then we should be able to activate this one down here. There it is. And hearing that should tell you that you can now move forward. Okay, so we want to hit the left button now. It's hard to keep the entirety of this path uh, on, you know, in my brain at the same time. We'll skip over this one this time. Now we want to hit the middle button, I believe. Which should open this door. And this can take you out. Now, when backtracking, uh, you'll note, know, of course, there's no battles in here. Uh, you'll just have to hit this one back to the left. And your path is almost exactly a straight shot down. Um, back down here and out here. And now you can leave. Just so you know, I'm just going to kind of go over the uh, ways that we need in order to backtrack out since I'm going to be doing it all off screen. I figure I might as well give you the uh, shortest possible route there. And there's the middle one again. So yeah, if you're backtracking forward and through this area, uh, nothing gets reset and you don't have to pick up chests any additional times. So you can just, you'll only have to flip that one switch going back through. Right. So we're finished with that stack of notes. So now we can use the other stack of notes. Fight a battle. Sure, why well, not? Let's do it. Let's be careful. Yeah, we're pretty much just gonna spam our best attacks and build them up. Even though much later in the game I'll probably have Claude stop using killer moves altogether. I think it's at least interesting to show off some of those better ones and get them at least set up in case I decide to use them instead. It's likely I'll only use Ripper Blast going forward, but it's nice to show off Mirror Slice since it plays a prominent role in the uh, series in general. There's a spark. I'm not exactly sure what that is. What is a spark? Piece of equipment. Oh, it's a gun. Looks kind of like a baton or something like that. Okay, sure. I don't think I've ever even looked at that one before. Alright. Now we can head back across to the other side, and it should lead me to a save point that I could probably make use of at this point. There's a lot of cool looking That's scenery in uh, this dungeon out. that you think you might be able to interact with, but yeah. you actually can't which is kind of sad. Go to heaven. 
Like, it looks like you could make use of this. I don't know what the hell that is, but you can't. and Stuff like that. There's some pretty cool aspects to it. It's got some nice scenery. Like, if you look out the background there, that's pretty cool. Anyway, I'm going to save and adjust my setup a little bit, and I will see you in a moment. Okay, we're back. Now, I decided that we needed to have some amount of challenge in the final dungeon. So what I've done is I've killed everybody as far as equipment goes and equipped only stuff that I would have been able to have had I not done any item creation. So Sacred Tear, Steel Armor, which I could have better, but I haven't bought any of this stuff, so I'm actually weaker than I should be. Mithril Shield we can buy. Uh, at least I think we can buy it. If not, then sure, we'll put on that one. Uh, Steel Helm, Silver Greaves. This is disc one gear, mostly. Uh, the Slayer's Ring we just got, and a Might Chain, because I can't use Berserk Ring, and you do not want to use an Atlas Ring for the upcoming boss fight. Uh, alpha Box. Yes, an Alpha Box. Uh, Sylvan Mail, we found three of just going through this area as drops. Uh, might change you find as drops way earlier in the game. I already got a bunch of those. Uh, picked up those already. We can buy this. We can buy those. Uh, reverse stall, mainly for the elemental defense. Boss can use a really powerful attack. Uh, Titan's Fist, we just picked up in here. Mithril Mesh, we got somewhere. We can buy it. We can buy it. Uh, Silver Greaves from Disc 1. Might Chain, give him the Emerald Ring, probably the only one we have. And a Spark, which is still junk. Uh, Gene Shield, which we picked up in uh, one of the dungeons. I think the Field of Courage. Uh, the Helm, Silver Greaves, Might Chain, Reverse Stall. And as far as text, I left him with Ripper Blast, though you could turn that right off. In fact, might almost be better to turn it off and just you you know what if i had the eternal sphere on i would but since i don't let's uh, put ripper blast back on healing star will be required alpha on one um you will just be running explosion pills and it doesn't really matter what you do all right so let's see if we can survive this boss fight this is not the easiest boss fight in the world if you are using such weak equipment But let's give her a try. I fought this battle a couple of times off screen uh, when I was uh, saving there. And the one time, it's actually rather funny. I'll, I'll throw a clip in uh, a little bit later, but I died and revived someone at the same time and I got game over. <laughs> so I got game over with a dead person or with an alive person in my party. <laughs> it was kind of funny. Only two left. Go quietly and give yourself up. So they are dead. And what does that mean to you, buddy? Exactly because of this. Their war fighting capacity has dispersed, so it's worth to threat. So you don't care about your own teammates. Okay, then. Do we get to learn your name? Oh! So, the number one guy, or, you know, the uh, the second in command is supposed to be the guy that's uh, the real bad guy after all, right? Just like in lots of other games? Well, they didn't come to help, so, yeah, I guess in that sense he did. Now that you mention it, you're still alive. Oh. Oh, so we're pawns, are we? We have earned a reward. Money, status. Oh, this is Cyril, by the way. Still look displeased. I suppose you want death after all. Okay, let's try that. He has one really, really powerful attack that you do want to avoid. I don't reckon, I don't uh, believe he has anything um, particularly useful. I'm just trying to find out where it is. I do have something, I believe, that will increase my attack power. Maybe. If I don't have it, then we won't worry about it. I don't think I have it. Uh, you can get uh, an item that increases your attack power. Oop. No. Merlin drink. Oh, cool. I'll see if I can duplicate that. Blows everything to bits in combat. We're not going to use that. So, word of death. 
Oh, this is his super powerful attack, by the way. It's wind elemental, so I am protected uh, a little bit uh, on a couple of my characters. We need to spam healing star immediately. And we need to move you out of the way. And basically, you want to control Opera for this fight. Once you can get him kind of cornered like this, as you notice, we're not doing anywhere close to the same amount of damage. But uh, once you get him kind of spam stuck between attacks, you're probably fine. But yeah, if not, he can do about a thousand damage or so with his normal attack. Word of death can instantly kill a party member, and then his wind attack that he used there does a lot of damage. Oh my! Yeah. I guess that's it. And we gain lots of levels for defeating him. But at least I showed that there is some amount of challenge in the game. You have to heal, and you have to equip to avoid super powerful attacks. But other than that, even with uh, the way things worked out, it's not really the most difficult thing in the world. Uh, the one where I was talking about where I got myself a game over, um, I had equipped the Atlas Ring and gear on most characters that made them weak to win, so it did lots of damage. Oh. Holy shit. What? No, I, I got somebody alive. That's <laughs> uh, funny. Anyway, let's go. Yeah, I'm going to re-equip my good gear, and I will see you in a moment. All right, all set up again and ready to go. Grab this treasure chest over here, containing some kind of rod. And a battle that will be a lot easier when we don't have to worry about not taking that. Well, we basically don't have to worry about taking damage at all. If I can I still probably, probably make things make more sense, but... We all know that's not going to happen. This looks like it's an elevator. It's not. I don't really know why it's there, but anyway. Let's move this way. All right. Finish up that battle. Run all the way through another teleporter room. And I think we'll pretty much get to the final save point uh, today. So that's pretty good. We'll go a little bit long to make sure we do that. Probably cut the rest of the battles out too. And in doing so, we should get a few more uh, treasures along the way. Though the map that I have is slightly confusing at this point. Basically tells me the only way to get access to a couple different rooms is through the ether, because it doesn't tell me how to get there. But anyway, either that or I'm just reading it wrong. Let's grab a dual helm. And a Sage of Stone. I don't know why you would need one at this point in the game, but it's there. Drag her ass across this hallway. And now we're actually on the uh, ninth floor now. So if we go in this elevator, we're technically going down a floor. And this one should lead me to... Eighth floor again, which is good. All right, so now that we're back on the eighth floor, we'll come out from up here, and we'll be able to go by the final save point in the game, which should be just through this doorway. Skip that for now. Why am I bothering to edit out battles that end in, like, literally two seconds? I don't know. Force of habit, I guess. Anyway, two more treasure chests, and that'll be it. I don't know why we're getting that kind of crap at this stage in the game, but... Okay then. Oh, it's just them. Well, uh, another five second battle. Or less. 
That works too. I you wonder who it. the MVP is. Um, probably all of us. We'll have down here. We got a statue, a dual suit, and a cure stone. I think they're telling us that we need to be protected from stone going forward. I could be wrong. All right. So then, yeah, the uh, final save point in the game. Now, in order to unlock the bonus dungeon, you do not need to actually defeat the final boss. What you need to do is you need to save at this save point. I'm not even sure if you need to save at it, but I know you need to at least get to this room. So entirely up to you. Um, if you want to kill the boss now, I will be. That will be uh, the next episode. It'll be the uh, the main finale where I'll do my review and all that kind of stuff. And we'll go through the endings on Claude's path. Uh, the episode after that, because I have a feeling that that'll be a long episode in itself, we'll show off some of the additional things uh, about what Raina can do. Maybe I'll show off the final boss again. And then we'll just show off any of the different... Uh, uh, what am I trying to say here that the different uh endings that we get uh, on Raina's path so yeah that's pretty much all for this one and i'll see you guys next time